the first game after my redshirt year, I'm playing Colorado, I'm finally playing on special teams. We got the starters playing, I'm playing special teams. I'm like, you know what? Hey, this is gonna be my time to shine. This is gonna be my time to shine. But I walked past the mirror, and all of a sudden that little negative thought came in my head. Like, bro, you too soft. You light skinned. You ain't gonna hit nobody. And I'm walking, walking all the way down to the end of the stall and I see the eye black. Y'all know what I'm talking about when you step in there into the in game day and you see the eye black right there. I'm looking, look at the mirror, look at the eye black, look at the mirror. Man, I grabbed that thing right there and just started smearing my face like this. Smearing my face, smearing my face. Till all of a sudden I was like, oh yeah, I'm that dude. I'm that dude. And that's the day that I had an opportunity to name myself. And so the question is, because this isn't just a, a, a personal development period where we're talking about everything off the field, because in a few weeks, y'all getting ready to go back on the field. And understanding that nothing other than your best and the greatness is accepted. So how do you transition and transfer everything you are as a person into becoming who you want to be in the monster and beast on the field? So I asked you guys the question, who's your alter ego? Think about it. We're going to write this down. We're going to come up with that alter ego for who we are and don't let nobody tell you because here's the thing that people are going to try and make fun of you until you start doing good and then they're going to start applauding you. So if you don't have an alter ego, if you don't have that beast that comes out on game day and when you get to be 10, pretend and act like as though you're a different person. Who is it? Who is it? And if you can't think of the name, think about the superpowers.